with the grinding stones, refine it, you know, like grind and grind and grind until they're fine. Some people they will sift to get the, the finer particles and that's the feeling I'm having here. It's, it's really like that kind of a, of a claim. If you can look what happens inside, it's that pattern that it's done by your fingers. I always tell my students that if you can be able to follow the pattern that your hands make, you, you, you easily can be guided. And then this is what also happens outside. So that's your diagonal, right? Right. When I do this, I, I simply dip, dip, dip on the solid where my joints are, are, are not exposed. Because I'm gonna have credit. So you do the same thing over and over again. And your hand is always there. Sometimes it goes like that because your hand is kind of trying to, to communicate to the other hand that now we are moving forward or backwards, but this is how and that's how as I'm doing this, I'm pushing this inside because now I'm reaching my shoulders. This is not a big part because I will be bending over very soon. But before that I don't have to, to clean a little bit with my kidney or my rib on the outside. And then here we go. You start pulling. You go over and over and then you kind of like repeat but this time you're pulling like up upwards it has to be diagonal because you will never be able to make a sphere if you you go diagonal and you make sure that the outside is properly I'm calling I'm calling this leaking. It's properly leaked after the pulling off your finger markings. And then let's give it a little bit clean over the edge. Just and then it, if you notice my hands, it's kind of like doing the same pattern in the same directions over and over again. You'll always have those lines that goes in a in a in the same direction, and then I go inside again. I'm kind of like pushing up, but also my hand is controlling the push. I'm kind of like opening it more. As I'm doing this, my pot is beginning to thin down, to thin up, and then I'm going to push from the bottom up, uh, kind of like cleaning it at the same time, pulling it up, also pushing your walls, like you're trying to like push them out, but also with that control. And then what I'm doing now, I'll be pushing from that upwards because I don't want my pot to be that and go you know, I want my pot to start, you know, round. So now I will change 
my rib just to give me that quickly you go slowly my hand can also feel the the proportion without even looking at it so now i'm really pushing harder at the bottom i'm just here now this portion trying to push harder not too hard Now, I'm repeating the same process over and over again. As I'm doing, I'm pulling away from the, from the bottom of my pot. I'm not pulling. I just ignore that. So I'm pulling away now. Like, that's what I'm doing. It's not easy to... And my pot is beginning to open a little bit outwards if you're not sure you can stand back and look at the pot. if you think it's it maybe it's it's leaning towards and then you simply just pull it up or get it to the to the position and then now I've reached the what you call the shoulders I call these the shoulders I'm trying to bring the shoulders in I'm pulling in outwards and then pull inwards with my rib I'm kind of like creating that uh, band you know I'm doing that basically I'm taking away access clay so that when I put my next uh, coil, I'm not putting on a thick, uh, 